Welcome back to the Lemon Factor. I'm Chad and today we are doing a catch can install on the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. This is a follow-up video to the last video I released in which I discussed why you would need a catch can, especially for DI, direct injection engines. I'll be installing the Mishimoto catch can and I just want to point out, emphasize that this is the 2.0, not the 1.5 liter. Uh, there is a slight difference in the install. The concept is the same, but uh, if you're looking at the engines, there are slight differences, so keep that in mind. However, this still should be helpful uh, for you 1.5 liter owners. So I'm here today with my son, Max, and he's gonna help me do the install. So Max, say hi. Hi. All right, so why don't we jump right into it and I'll go through the tools and then let you take a look at the Mishimoto catch cam. Let's take a quick look at some of the tools you're going to need to install the Mishimoto oil catch can. You're going to need pliers, and I do recommend making sure that you have some needle nose pliers because there are some clamps that are hard to get to, and the needle nose makes it much, much easier than the regular pliers. Quite frankly, I'm not sure if I would have been able to get to those clamps, so make sure you have an a set of needle nose pliers, um, a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, those are for the bolts to attach the oil catch can to the catch can bracket. You will need a small 10 millimeter uh, socket. And I do recommend uh, smaller the better. It is difficult to get to those 10 millimeter bolts. So make sure that you have a short socket set for this. The 17 millimeter wrench uh, is used to attach the fittings onto the oil cash can. And then I have two uh, screwdrivers, flathead, a smaller one, as well as a larger one. I use this to help pry the OEM tube off and then also use this to help get the clamps on the hoses in just the right position, especially for two of them that were hard to uh, get to. Let's take a look at what's in our Mishimoto baffled oil catch can system. We have our catch can with an out port and an in port. We will be attaching these fittings to those ports. We will attach the catch can to this bracket with these two bolts to the firewall. We will then attach the in hose that includes the check valve and the out hose using these four clamps, you have two larger ones and two smaller ones. We have some pamphlets uh, from Mishimoto. We have their high tech, very sophisticated instructions. And what my son will love, given that he loves penguins, penguins. Uh, is a, I don't know if this is actually a air fresher or not, but we'll open up that up and take a look at that. So Looks here are like the pieces one. and why don't we get started? We will be focusing our attention on the back firewall here and I'll go through the 10 steps step by step and take you through the process. So step number one is to remove the engine cover. There are four tabs here. Pull up. Um, be, you're going to have to give it a little bit of muscle but it will come off here. You can see underneath that here's the four tabbed areas. 
that connect onto here. I'll give you a little bit better view. So one, two, three, four. So once you've removed the engine cover, you need to remove the PCV hose, which is down here. So just follow my hand here. This hose connects down to the middle. I'll give you a little bit better view, but uh, it's just one hose. There's little clamps in there. Use the pliers to open up the clamp, the clamp, slide them down, and then pull the hose out. So let me give you a little bit better view because there's a lot going on here and I think it would be helpful. Looking at the hoses, it's you're gonna be disconnecting this one right here and this makes its way, just wanna show you all the way down to here. So let's follow that. Again, follow this hose coming up. Let's see, it goes into the back right there. And then following the hose, all the way here so we're going to remove this with the pliers on either end separating those brackets and pulling the hose out this is just tucked in back here like this when re removing this hose right here you are going to actually need uh, needle nose pliers regular pliers are too fat to be able to fit into this recess here to be able to squeeze together um, this clip effectively, so I couldn't get my pliers in there, but with the needle nose pliers, it was able to fit nicely in there. Was able to pull that off. Pliers were able to pull this off. The hose was on pretty well, so what I used was a small flathead screwdriver just to uh, give it a little bit of incentive to push out a little bit. This didn't take much at all. This took a little bit finagling, um, but I was able to pull that out. So the hose itself, totally disconnect this here. So here's the OEM hose with the two clamps on the other end and this is what we're going to replace. The catch can will sit right here. We'll attach it with the bracket to the firewall putting it behind this. Uh, so we got to loosen this up and then we'll have an in to the catch can and then the out uh, leaving the catch can. Next step is to loosen up this bracket so that we can put the bracket we're using to hold the oil catch can right behind it. 10 millimeter socket. Make sure it's relatively small because there's only so much space that you have here. Um, you're gonna have to take your time, but 10 millimeters on these two bolts um, should loosen them up. We'll remove that. These are your two fittings. Doesn't matter which one goes in which side. I'll put these on by hand and then I will use our 17 millimeter wrench to give it one last little bit of tighten. And before we do that, let's take a look at the inside. Um, I will tell you that it took a little bit of effort for me to unscrew this. This was on extremely tight. I did need to use a uh, plumber's uh, wrench to get this off with a lot of effort. So just be forewarned. Now that it's loosened up, let's take a look at the catch can itself. By the way, you know, it's relative to my hand. It's not that large, but what was surprising taking it out of uh, the box is actually how heavy it is. It's very substantial. Um, this is very well built. Some people actually may even complain that, you know, it's, it's adding weight. I don't know how much it weighs, but it weighs more than I had thought it would weigh. It's one of those things that when you do pick it up, you're kind of surprised how heavy it is. Good quality product. So you see in here, you know, this is, I think it holds uh, three ounces. Hopefully that'll be enough in between oil changes. I do plan on changing this every 5,000 miles with the oil change. So we have the catch can here and then we have the baffling system itself here that filters out all of the contaminants before returning the cleaner air back to the intake. So I just wanted you to take a look at that. I'm going to put this back on. Uh, and tighten this it's got a nice gasket here the big thing is you want to make sure it has a nice seal for this entire system you don't want any le leaks this is going to be working under vacuum uh, so you want to make sure that everything's on tight 
we are going to take these three Allen bolts off of the top and we're going to install the bracket on top of that so that this can then attach to the firewall. Now that we've tightened down the bracket or the uh, catch can to the bracket here, we're going to attach this to the firewall. Just take your time, screw it in by hand as tight as you can. Use your wrench here, your 10 millimeter wrench, tighten it down a little bit and then install the other one. Uh, otherwise you're at risk of having uh, one of the bolts drop through. There's an opening here. This goes in really nicely. Uh, it fits well. It's nice and snug. Got the catch can here and next step is to install the hoses. Just a reminder that the four clamps, there's two larger clamps and the two larger clamps go on the ends that attach to the catch can. This will be the in. We'll attach that from here. Make sure that the check valve is closest to the engine. This goes in the in port, which is right here. And then we will use this to connect to the out of the out port and then down here. This is the out. Just make sure when you connect the hoses, you push them in all the way, make sure they're, they're nice and snug, that you put the clamps, not all the way to the end, give it you know an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch. So this is the out. This is running down, sneaking down to there. As you can see, again, make sure you get that clamp down there and give it an eighth or a quarter of an inch, not recessed totally at the bottom. And then this is the in. So we've got the clamp here. This is running. Again, the in has the one with the check valve. What's interesting with the check valve is you can see there's an arrow right there. So the arrow going to the catch can itself. So make sure that this hose with the check valve is the hose that goes into your catch can. So it goes in the end and that attaches, it comes up and attaches underneath here. That's a little bit of a pain to get that clamp up there and that's why you definitely need the needle nose uh, pliers to, to work that clamp. Not a difficult to install. Looks pretty good, blends in nicely, good quality parts. That's all for installing the catch can in the in the new in the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications so you never miss a video. Join the Lemon Factor Squad. See you all next time. Next time I'll get, we'll be um testing how fast how how much horsepower this has with the dyno testing. Wait, what? Dun, 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 dun.